Good morning, good afternoon, or evening as the case may be. This is Sam Caldwell of the Windows to Apples podcast, and this is our third demonstration of the Mac Speech Dictate application. Mac Speech Dictate supplants and totally replaces iListen. Unfortunately, Dictate only supports Macintosh computers running on the Intel chipset. In this demonstration, we will review some of the commands that may be used to monitor your text and edit text once it has been converted from speech. Wake up. Open pages. Press OK. I'm going to select a few paragraphs from a review that we posted on our website, period. Select all. Cut selection. Once installed and open quote trained close quote comma, I immediately noted accuracy had been improved over that I had seen in iListen and the equal to what I am accustomed to when using the Windows version of Dragon Naturally Speaking period. Insert before improved dramatically. Move to beginning of document. Move to end of document. New paragraph. The Mac Speech Dictate Flyer repeatedly refers to the open quote accurately close quote and you should expect to see significant improvements over that experienced when using iListen period do select accurately accuracy Go to end, new paragraph. That last error, of course, was caused by a slur in my speech, period. The only option for correcting these kinds of errors is to select the text and to insert the proper word, period. New paragraph. Go to beginning of document. Scratch that. That option of eliminating text using the scratch command is also found in the Dragon Dictate product as well. Period. Go to beginning, select all, cut selection. Thank you for viewing. Please stay tuned for future demonstrations. Ah, as we can see, this is a problem that I've noted in using the application. Text that has been previously deleted mysteriously reappears. I think we've seen enough. Select all. Cut selection. File close. Press don't save.